In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to animate abstract shapes with the Create Nulls from Path script. Hey guys, my name is Manuel. The Create Nulls from Path script is included in After Effects since 2018. So obviously you need a path to use it on. Let's create a new shape by double clicking on the rectangle tool, we scale it down to 500 by 500 pixels to make it a square. Then we need to right click on the path property, convert it into a BC path. We select the path and open the script. The script is here under window, then all the way down. We click on it, which opens a window with three options. The first one points follow nulls, which adds a null object for each point of the shape. By animating the positions of the null objects, you can change the shape of the shape. <laughs> all right, let's play around with it. We add a second rectangular shape, size 500 by 500 pixels as well. Let's change the color to see the difference. We convert it into a Bezier path again, select the path and use the script points follow nulls again. And what we'll do now is link the right edge of the yellow shape to the left edge. Here it is <laughs> of the pink shape. Let's animate the right to null objects of the left shape. So maybe we change the label color. So we either link the top right null object to the top left one, which we animate and set the position of the one we linked to zero, or we directly link the position properties together. The two bottom ones as well. Now the two edges are pinned together. Okay, let's move them to the left first, on top of the two left null objects. We set position keyframes for the two nulls. At 12 frames, let's move them towards the middle. The upper null further up, the lower null further down. Actually, let's animate the two right nulls as well. Set position keyframes at the beginning, then move them farther outwards. Same with the two left ones. And this looks like a fake 3D cube. Let's quickly open the graph editor to edit the speed graph. Slow down the beginning and end of the animation. And a 2D shape turns into a cube. Let's set keyframes again a few frames later. And let's move the two nulls in opposite directions. By moving the upper null to the left, you want to make sure it has the same X position as the left edge. And we move the lower null to the right. And maybe down a bit. Again, we make sure to keep the edge a straight line. Let's quickly adjust the speed of the animations. Slow down the beginning and the end. The script helps to create some crazy shape animations pretty quick by linking nulls and shapes together. What if there's one place for everything you need to create stunning videos? MotionArray.com has video footage, music, sound effects, templates and plugins for After Effects and Premiere Pro, which is awesome, because it saves you a lot of time and money. It's one subscription for all. Pay once, use it as much as you want. Subscribe through the link in the description and get $50 off. MotionArray.com better start now. Now let's check out option two. We again add a new shape. Double click on the rectangle tool. Let's make it a square again. 500 by 500 pixels. We turn it into a BC path again and this time let's open the script again. We click nulls follow points. Here they are for nulls, one for each point. We use them to animate shapes again but in a different way. We add another square shape, same size, 500 by 500 pixels. Let's use a different color maybe. We duplicate the shape, then we position them. The first one at the top left corner, the second one at the bottom right corner. Let's quickly adjust the positions to make sure the corners touch. Then we link the upper shape to the upper left null, the bottom yellow shape to the bottom right null. And by rotating the center shape, we move all three shapes. Let's start with 
minus 90 degrees at the beginning. We set a keyframe at one second. We set the rotation to 90 degrees. We quickly adjust the speed using the graph editor, editing the speed graph. We slow down the end and the beginning of the animation. Awesome! Then 12 frames later or so, let's animate the scale. We deselect uniform scaling and set a scale keyframe. 8 frames later, we set the height to 0. 3 frames later, it is at 8%. 3 more frames later, back to 0. Let's quickly adjust the speed at the beginning. Slow start, then it speeds up as much as possible. So the shapes bump into each other at full speed. And with just a few keyframes, we animated three shapes, which is really cool. Let's try something else quickly. I already animated a simple square, position, scale and rotation. And let's create some speed lines. We open the path property again, right click on it, convert it into a BC path. Select the path and open the script again. Select nulls follow points, which surprise <laughs> creates four null objects. With no layer selected, we double click on the ellipse tool this time, which creates a way too big shape. So we open the path property and set the size to two pixels. Let's use a white fill color. We open the position property of the null we want it to be linked to and link the position property to it. So it moves along. Next, we use the effects and presets window to add echo. Echo time minus 0, 0,002. Number of echoes 200. Decay 0,99. And there is a line trailing after the shape. Awesome! Let's move it behind the square though. We could cut the layer after the animation is done. And let's quickly animate the number of echoes at the beginning. 0 and then 200 after 6 frames. You could also delay the line slightly, so that it doesn't touch the shape. Therefore, we open the position property of the ellipse shape, click into the expression field and simply add at the end dot value at time and in parentheses time minus 0.02 seconds, which leaves a gap. Okay, one more option left. And this time we're adding a solid, then add a round mask using the ellipse tool. <laughs> Just because I want to show you that it works with masks as well. We open the mask path property, select the mask path and open the create nodes from path script. This time we click trace path and that's exactly what it does. The null object is rotating around the circle. Let's add another solid, different color this time and add another round mask, smaller this time. Then we position the shape on top of the null and link it to the null. Of course, and it moves along. If you want to animate the progress manually, simply delete the expression and use some keyframes. Check out the free project file and the other links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, because you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.